<laughs> now, okay, fine, finally. He now said it go, and nobody did anything. <laughs> it's not my fault that uh, the OBS isn't not responding. It is responding now, though, so we are recording. Awesome. Hello, YouTube. Welcome Greetings, to everyone. Work. Welcome to NPR. For plus, for plus ten, I can get a splinter pistol, so I'm going to get that as my backup gun for now. Good. Yeah, we've been we've been sitting here discussing weapons because it turns out most of our weapons are shit. Uh. So, under the Speak assumption that we somehow magically gets out of the warp, maybe we'll go shopping. Shopping! Shopping trip! Alright, so, uh, you guys, yeah, you're still stuck in the warp right now. Um, you know, it's been maybe a day or two since the event with the demon, um, right trying to break down the engine doors. Yeah, you're probably healed by now. You Probably, maybe, whatever. You know, if you took the time, I guess, you probably healed. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's still in the wheelchair, though. Just so we feel sorry for him. home away from home. <laughs> just for pity. Like in a hospital, they don't let you leave without, you know, being wheeled out on the wheelchair. Except you're on the spaceship, so he can't leave yet. So he's just permanently in the wheelchair. He can never leave. Yeah. Oh, dear. No. Oh. Sounds horrible. I've actually bolted him to the wheelchair. <laughs> Thanks. I feel so much better now. All right, so yeah, um, you're you're making some progress here on fixing the warp engines. Uh, you know, they're they're not a hundred percent yet, but they're getting better than what they were. Um, it looks like you know you you probably was guys blown still, up. Yeah, they they're like completely completely messed up before. Uh, but you know, you guys probably still have about a week and a half here. Uh, just sitting, floating, drifting in the war. Do I get to do my prank on IV? You could try, yeah. Okay. At some point, I find some identical twins on the ship. What? And have one in the room with IV, and one outside the room, knocking on the door, pretending to be the one inside. <laughs> IV, roll uh... to see if you're afraid. <laughs> Are you spooked? Well, you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah roll, roll. Not intelligence to see if you figured out. Roll to just see if you're afraid. <laughs> I'd, I'd assume I'd, I'd be a little bit suspicious. <laughs> suspicious. It's like, it's like <laughs> let me in, let me in. I'm the guy in there. Fear, 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 fear. That's willpower. That's, uh... Do I just do a regular fear test or a, a, yeah, yeah, a willpower you, test? Just, just get a roll a willpower test. That's fine. Willpower. Yeah, you're afraid. <laughs> yes! He got you. He scared you. Spooked you! What a good prank by me, the prankster. Now he thinks there's a demon pretending to be a member of the crew on board. <laughs> now when he freaks out and kills you, no one will feel bad. He won't, he'll never figure out it was me. More importantly, <laughs> I don't think he'll be able to kill him. <laughs> That's pretty true. <laughs> but I think, well, since if the ship feels less uh, being taken over by horrible uh, entities, maybe me and Icarus uh, are sitting down when he's out of the med bay making plans for uh, the unappreciated deal. I mean, we have a lot of uh, mining shit to set up. Or, well, rather, Icarus has a bunch of mining shit to set up. He's got because... to finally put quill to paper and do his dang job. That's Are we true. still assuming whoever blew this up was part of the demon thing, or was that somebody on the ship still sabotaging us? Well, we uh, haven't decided what... And maybe, maybe you and uh, the prankster plus Holt should uh, go try and figure that out while uh, me and Icarus just sit here and do boring paper pushing stuff making money for me. Okay. Well, actually, it would cost you money initially, but eventually make you money. Yeah, eventually. Like, I, I, I don't think I've made any money so far. Other, well, I did manage to get a, a ship, but I've also, like, 10% of my crew has died, and... Let's see. My engine's blown up once. We crashed into a ship twice. Um, you we have two have, out of eight Astropaths left. Exactly. <laughs> we, have a, we have a cargo full of... Uh, humans that we can't turn back on, and um, well, what else horrible things have happened? Planets. Uh, yeah, so we we we've lost some explosives and um, other shit. But we, but we did get loads of crew for free. We did, yes. And food for free. 
Oh, offset. Pros and cons. I'm just saying, so far we haven't been super profitable. But, if you want to make an omelette, you need to have, like, onions and shit. Because otherwise with just eggs it's really boring, so, you know. It's just scrambled eggs. It's just eggs. Yeah. You need flavor, is what I'm saying. We're getting flavor. Mm. Mm. Profit flavor. Profit flavor. But you I guys have been I'm just sort for... of exploring around them mm -hmm. instead of really trying to... Oh, and I was... Flavors, so. uh, doesn't... I, I mean, doesn't Icarus have, like, Underworld or something like that? I do. Because we need to... We need to outfit the unappreciated deal with some sweet-ass Ceno gear. As in the go fast thing, and possibly some other cool shit that we find. So once we a good gun, maybe. Yeah. So once we get somewhere civilized, we should, you know, you should make use of your contacts. So we should head back to, to football. Just give no, up on this frozen sister things. Well, Demaris will be fine to get stuff at, yeah. which is where we're going to right now. Demaris is a big. The, everywhere down in between us and the frozen sisters is. Either orc, chaos, or some oh, just shitty to kill us. Yeah, Man. that's just that's shitty. why we that's why we need Sino gear and new weapons. Yeah, we should, we well, should we find... just go somewhere else. That's yeah, we're gonna go somewhere else to find some sort of Xenotech arms dealer, so we can go all of his cool stuff, and then we yeah. can go murder the other aliens. So we can no, so we can go to Frozen Sisters. Like, yeah, it's difficult to get there, but that also means that everyone. That just decides to give up after like, ooh, the first Dune planet, or ooh, look, sca scary aliens that are taking slaves. All of those people, they haven't gone to the Frozen Sisters. Exactly. All those people that are like, ah, oh, they said, fine, that's an orc, orc world, let's not go there. And not go there? They haven't been to the Frozen Sisters. Yeah, they don't get any profit factor. The orc world's the only world I'd actually want to go to. <laughs> <laughs> heard it's a good party. Well, mm. well, the orcs might you might be able to actually bargain with them. Like no, I won't let, the only thing orcs do is like, how about we color this blue, about, red, uh, and then it's like, then it's yeah. fine. Like, ooh, oh, so you want to upgrade to your ship? How about we give you nice aquamarine? And they'll want to fight our captain one on one in a headbutt eating, headbutt eating contest or whatever. I don't see how that could possibly go wrong. Well, well considering he, I'm going to delegate yeah, it to you. Yeah, he named you as his champion, so... I'd just shoot the orc. Why is Frederick blopping and ah. He does that. He does yeah, that, it's, it's a little skull. It's this oh, okay. thing. You get used to it after a while. Yeah, we're going to go find some Xena Tech Arms dealer or something. Just anybody cool and useful. Rather than this garbage world we live in. And then we'll come back. Good stuff. I mean, we still need to go to Frozen Sister at some point. Yeah. Just that our first attempt didn't make it all the way. But now we've plotted a course. Plotted a course. We got a rest stop on the way. Yeah. Hopefully next time. Still there. There's only a few things we need to sort out, like stop being stuck in the warp. Almost being consumed by demons. That mm -hmm. kind of easy stuff. Easy, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the minor issues. Yeah. Yeah, minor issues. Okay, so who's doing what? What what's our what's the plan right here right now? We need to we need to investigate the the de the explosion thing. Yeah, like, I agree. Was, we was to, that cuz that could have that, the demons could have used that as a moment and seized the opportunity or they could have caused it, but I'd like to know either way. I questioning everyone who has access to the Armory. Yeah, anyone... Mm, yeah, we well, could do that, but maybe they made a bomb. You could just see if there's any missing to start with. That's difficult because there was just a big fight, so something might not be accounted for. That also, might, IB might doesn't write anything down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I think it's more difficult because our accountant <laughs> is really bad at his job. Well, I'm like, yeah, well, but I'm I sure he... Him? I'm sure that's one of the... One of the things he does when we're not talking about it, like it's his job to write things down. I would yeah. assume it's hard to. I would assume it's hard to take things out of the armory without anyone else. Like hanging out in med bay and complaining they about this weird pain. They could have like. taken it out of the armory during the big fight and like not used it on the other ship. 
but said they did. We, yeah, like we should see who went into engineering, and we've got a man who can literally read minds, so it'll make it pretty easy. Unless there was just one person working alone, and then we never well, then, find out. Well, then we got to read fourteen thousand minds. Yeah, it's should get like, I I should know everyone who is supposed to be in that that port part of engineering. You kiss their foreheads every yeah. time they enter. Find, find out who's actually dead, then. Who is it who blew up? That's that's, that we, sounds like that's... something me and you would work together on. I You're the paperwork test. guy, and I'm like the, <laughs> the guy who knows who should be in there. So mm. you should get down here, because I'm busy hitting everything with a big wrench. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's Merrick and Icarus that are going to go through engineering and try to figure out if anyone's missing, basically. Yeah, or if I can see, like, you know, if, if someone's, like, busted to open a door that shouldn't have been, that they didn't have access to, so they had to, like, break through, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, you guys can make, whoops, you can make some awareness tests and see, see what you see going on down here. Love making awareness tests. Yeah. All right. Let's see if this. No, should have uh, told me to do it better. If we're look, if we're looking <laughs> at things, you could give me a call because I'm good at looking that at things. That is too low. Why did that not work? I mean, it Yours did, did work, work, but like it should. I should have bonuses to my perception because of the mechadendrites and also because I'm crazy. Ah, oh, right. Like they're so they're character. Their, their characteristic adjustments, but apparently that doesn't make it apply to skills that use that characteristic? Uh, it says your characteristic is 34, so maybe... It... Right, that's that's what it is by default. There should be plus 10 for the optical mechadendrite and plus 10 for... Is it because I don't have pluses in front of them? It depends on what you're doing, what type of awareness test you're doing, I believe. Like, if you're doing an awareness to hear a sound, your optical mechadendrite is not going to do shit. Correct. In this case, though, I think we're visually looking at things. Yeah, you also, when you, like, when you, map tools when you cl- wouldn't know well, that. No, when you clicked yeah. on, like, you can click, when you click on awareness or whatever it says, enter additional skill, and does your heightened senses talent apply to this check? Do you have, like, do your dendrites apply to this check? No, it wait. might not just be in the framework for that. You yeah, might do an awareness. What do you mean when you click when, on awareness? It... Well, use skill awareness for me. I then have a tick box for does your heightened senses talent apply to this check? Oh, yeah. interesting. No, I don't. So you probably have to just do it manually. Yeah, you'll just. That's have to weird, though. I would yeah. think by <coughs> editing and my it, character. Yeah, you think so? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But oh, my helmet also... gives me plus ten to awareness skills. Damn it. About All right. That. So, anyways, that's three glasses on success. Not one. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, well, you don't really see anything that's been like busted open that shouldn't be or anything like that. And everyone here seems accounted for. So I don't think it was one of mine. You don't think it was one of your dudes? No. Of course, the engineer. Look, the amount of the amount of heresy it would be for someone. <laughs> Who works with the Adeptus Mechanicus to sabotage a starship is unthinkable. So it's not one of mine. All right, I guess go through all the department heads and find out who is missing. I'm going to keep working on this uh, on this engine here. Do does the engineering crew like have people bring them lunch while they're working? I would assume no. so. No, we just surely they got to the mess hall. No, I'm, everyone here is working 24-7. We're getting out of the warp as soon as possible. They're yeah, but before, sleeping like you went to the, defecating. The, the in yeah, the yeah, station. yeah, but bef- yeah, but before then. Well, I'm an officer. I'm different. Yeah, but, bef- but before it happened, like, we're talking about before the explosion happened. Uh, uh, mess- I don't like, think we a mess hall in that case. Do we have, like, messengers? Well, do, do we... <laughs> Do we uh, have a carriers are usually like uh, either the cherubs or their server skulls or things like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, but do, do we like uh, on chip box. do we have a do we have a system of like security checkpoints and that everyone like maybe someone who's not like people working in engineering clearly don't have access to weapons control and the armory. <laughs> 
but they probably probably have some kind of like identification key card or clearance, right? I think it's more like the ship is so big, you just kind of live where you work and yes. never go anywhere else. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Okay, well... So I don't that... know that we have a formal security system per se. I mean, well, it, I guess that's kind of partly up to us. I, I mean, like, if your engineers see one of the navigators with their weird eye walking around in right. you know, the engine, know. they're going to be like, what, what, what the hell are you doing here? You know, it's... Well, it's kind of so just, that's just another thing aspects. we're implementing when we when we get back to base. There needs locks to be a secure... Except, yes. It's gonna be a Doors, lot of locks. mechanical sentries. Think of the it, jobs we'll create in the bureaucracy alone. But yeah, we fucking locked the doors already, jeez. We need bigger doors. Oh, okay. So... When something's called a perception-based test, is that any skill that uses perception or just naked perception? That should be any skill that uses perception. Okay. Because I think adjusting the characteristic just adjusts, like, if I was doing a perception test. Which ah. I don't even know if that's a thing. I mean, that would be an awareness test. Yeah, that's what I would think. Yeah, like pretty much. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna manually bump awareness then. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at things. So we don't have a security system that keeps track of where people are. No one seems to be missing. And uh, you're, you're you missing crew that are definitely been, you know, killed throughout yeah, the last couple Yeah, but 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 no one from engineers. Uh, en uh, engineering seems to be missing. Oh. Other than well be all the dead for. Uh, and IB is refusing to check weapons controls for explosives, so... Uh, do we have any way of figuring this out? Uh, get the mind reader on it? We, I, I'm not gonna have him go through 14,000 people. Yeah, yeah that, because Well, we do have two weeks. What else is he gonna do? Well, statistically, what'll happen is, uh... After 14,000 people, I will have summoned about 15 <laughs> predators. Yeah, like something bad would have happened. Yeah. And I also might have died twice. Yeah, like we need to use the mind reader on someone we actually have suspicions of. <sighs> and it's also, I feel like it might not be in the rules technically, but I feel like a warp predator seems like it's more likely to happen if we're actually in the warp. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Logically, yes. Game mechanically, no. <laughs> speaking, speaking of in the warp, uh, Barbaretta approaches you. Uh, I love Barbaretta. And she she wants to give you a warning that sitting still on the warp for so long is sort of starting to let energy gather around the ship in probably not a good way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, no you're, shit, it's bad. You're, you're basically, you know, just you're, you're a rock in the stream here. You're not. Do moving. we have any like so thrusters that can like move us a bit? That, that would be your warp sense. engines. <laughs> There's no... Yeah, normal stuff doesn't work in the warp, and also those are even more damaged. Like we're Did... focusing on the warp engines right now. Yeah, so can she's, we... she's can, warning can we send us about people... going. <laughs> can we send people outside with brooms or whatever to get yeah, the engine off? Yeah, we just need a lightning rod. <laughs> Uh, you could. It'd probably be an extraordinarily bad idea. Uh, could we vent something and then, like, move that way? Oh, vent you. Vent atmosphere or something? I mean, opening a door to the warp in in, in the warp, you know, works both ways. So yeah, that's... just because you're venting stuff out doesn't mean the warp's not coming in. Yeah, I... Uh... Patience also, is going to be our only recourse right now. We're not going to open something to let warp in. We're not going to risk doing any size stuff in the warp when we're stuck here. Yeah, I think there's like nothing we can do but thanks to the warning, Barbaretta. Yeah, unless so basically... Got, I mean, unless so, she's got anything she can think of that we yeah, can do. So, so she came over and gave us some bad news with no solution to said bad news? Yeah, yeah. it's not like we yeah. didn't know that this was bad that we're sitting still in the warp. Yeah, I love Barbaretta. That's why she's uh, my type of human. <laughs> okay, well, well, I, I, guess... I still think it was somebody from the feudal world. I still think it was some disgruntled person 
who yeah, hates but us. They even know how bombs work. Well, we well, if don't know if it's like we don't know what it is. If it's a cult of the rose person or whatever, maybe. Maybe or maybe like they could ask about. Oh, hey, how the. Do we have anything for blowing stuff up? And then some dude's like, yeah, this stuff. You just push this button. Mm -hmm. So maybe they didn't want to you. Themselves. You told them, didn't you? I wouldn't tell anybody how to use your stupid human rocks. I don't even know how it works. It's dumb. Okay, well, considering there's uh, nothing we can do about the finding out what actually happened, I'm just going to go yell at engineering to make them work yeah. faster. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Probably the best we plan can, we have. We can try we to put our heads to together plan. about something for discharging inter warp energy. Like, is there, could we, like, fire a torpedo or something? You could try. Like, I'm, I'm trying I to think know. of, like, if we could nope. use basically nope. like Very a lightning today. rod oh, kind of job. thing. Uh, so, I mean, you don't have torpedoes, but your macro batteries are big. Eh, I yeah, mean, I don't know that. Shooting stuff. Stuff. I'm kind of thinking like I don't know, and this is both in and out character, uh, how warp energy like even works. I'm just trying to think of a way to dilute it by like pushing like I can roll some a forward work more warp to see if I have any idea of anything. What we if we? Do. What can one of our guns turn like 360 degrees? Yeah, you have guns that can move. That keel gun right. basically yeah. can. Can't we just spin that round and round and blow the warp <laughs> energy away like a big fan? Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, work. I, that's all I got. See, this is why we need orcs on the ship, because as long as we come up with a dumb idea <laughs> and convince them that it's going to work, it'll work. Oh, my idea's dumb, but it's good. I see how it is. There was a compliment hidden in there. I'm going to come down here and just look at it. Everybody in the engine room! Woo! Oh, someone knows success. about the wall. Wow. Yep. Pick up a rubber mallet. Okay, so what are you trying to figure out here, Scooby? Uh, just if there's any way we can uh, negate the buildup of warp energy on our ship. Or diffuse it somehow. Like, or diffuse it. Discharge yeah. it safely. Uh, you, know, you, you've, you've honestly don't have much data at all about a ship spending an extended period of time not moving in the warp. So mostly what happens then is they die. Space hulks. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly Wait, hang the on. results of that. Hang on. So is there inertia in the warp? Uh there's like a current flows, yeah. So then we Well actually I guess inertia is there is, is there friction in the warp? Because I mean otherwise we wouldn't be stopping anyways. Yeah. Damn yeah. warp. Like, it's just weird. It's awful. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. You actually have, like, warp sails. I don't think they get moving. I'm pretty probably, sure. Probably an alien's got Yeah, that. I mean, I'm pretty sure, sure is it some Eldar got some. some I mean, even, even if that was possible, we can't really go out on the hull and be like, let's put some sails up because we warp have, predators like, are going to go eat us. Some empty food containers or something <laughs> that we could scoop it <laughs> up in. No, we are not like... dumping your fucking welding mishaps. <laughs> <laughs> Just a barrel full of lumps of metal welded together. No, but I'm I'm saying like, what if we tried? If if we have like a bunch of just rubbish, junk and stuff, and we dump it, maybe it'll kind of like absorb some of the warp energy and pull it away as it leaves. Well, it would probably help with behind us but not really in front of us or on our sides or above or below us sure so it help but us like, in like one direction but i don't think that's necessarily I mean, it's, it's so worth a shot well can we get things outside of the ship without letting warp predators in probably not i don't think the geller field is a physical thing it's like a it's weird psychic bullshit, so I'm pretty sure yeah. stuff just passes through you it. Would, you wouldn't want to be looking out the hole, though, at the warp, because that's, like... Well, yeah, all we have to do is load a crazy. bunch of stuff in the, the big airlocks and then leave and then open the other door. We've like, got no, two. no, because it, there, it... I don't... From what I understand of the warp, it's not like it's without, like... Airlocks in space work because there's pressure on the inside and there's no pressure on the outside, so... <laughs> It gets sucked out, but this doesn't seem to be the case in the warp. Yeah, so there's no reason for everything that we put in the airlock to just go whoop and go outside. 
Yeah. What if we got our two astropaths, one on each side of the ship, and shoved them out of an airlock with servitors, and then the demons or whatever attack them? Just <laughs> an idea. Okay, that I solves the astropath problem, those. but I don't think that this is the warp energy problem. Well... Because, I mean, if we could get things on the outside, we could just make some kind of, uh, like, primitive rocket engine and just because we have a bunch of like explosives and similar stuff so we could just like push our way forward with the shockwave but if you can't put things outside then it doesn't really matter i think we just need to get the engines up and yeah. then operator needs to look and go we're fucked but let's try this because she's got the warp eye right like she can she, she can, can see, see where it's good or bad yeah. so i actually semi like the idea of building like basic rocket type things in an well, airlock, opening the door and firing them and see if we can actually move a bit. But the... Solve. This is a big ship. Like, the amount yeah. of time that it's would it's take... It's a huge ship, yeah. Mm. Like and you we... Go I don't... I am not a fan of up. opening the airlocks anyways, because yeah, I, we're not letting any shit in if we can help it. Like, there's no way no one's opening the... any part of the hull to the warp. No. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like... I think... I think we, we need to gotta... just... We need to just divert... Basically, everyone that can work on the engine need to needs to work on the engine. I mean, and yeah, ev everyone that can't work on the engine still needs to work on the engine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can intimidate people to work faster. <laughs> like, everyone just needs to work on the engine. Okay, so are you gonna just wait it out then? Like, yes. while they're fixing the engines? I, I voted wait it out. It seems like there's. I haven't heard in uh, an idea that would actually do anything. Like, it seems like we don't know what else what we could do. Okay. No one knows a way to defuse the warp. I, I the still just think we should try pushing some garbage out one of the airlocks. No. We're not opening any of the airlocks. It lets shit from the warp in. Well, that's... You know how an airlock works, right? There's two sets of doors. But the warp... Yes. So... And the sturdy one is the other one. If it can And also... If did, it, well, no, they're both pretty sturdy because you, if you want... You, you don't want atmosphere failure. Like... Boom. Yeah, but this is a <laughs> massive ship. To, to push something out then then actually push us... Since, no, since no, there it's is, not to push no, just, us. Just it's to... to it's to take some of the built-up energy with it as it goes away. It's like it's like you dissolve, like diffusing a static shock. And the most warp-sensitive things we got is those astropaths. <laughs> Let's throw them out the air. I don't. I still. I'm still not a fan of doing anything. No, out, no, no one. No one. Any doors to outside. No one I'm seems to have any. Uh, like, anything that involves opening doors. Like there seems to be. There seems to be no... If someone can say opening the airlocks, that's fine. Nothing's going to come in. Then let's try it. But if no one can say that with any oh. type of knowledge, then we're not opening any airlocks. What about we wiggle the rudder a bit and just wiggle around a little? That, okay. I mean, it might start us drifting a little bit off course, but... You, I you don't really have a rudder like that. You're more like thrust vectoring when you're moving. Yeah, but like, you gotta wiggle them around a little bit, right? We could have everyone run to one side of the ship and jump up and down. Mm. I guess we could just <laughs> shoot backwards and see how, if that pushes us anywhere. I like. I think just. Do we want? I mean, we could we could try Bob, firing Bob a broadside Beretta. on one side. That might push us a little bit, like a Bob, very little bit. Alvaretta, wiggle the joystick around or whatever. I mean, if. If, if we're thinking that throwing shit out would disperse the energy, then wouldn't shooting also disperse energy in the same way? Yeah. Maybe. Or add about... to it because we're firing into it. Like, you're pumping well, if, energy it, into it. But that... Well, no, macro cannons are shooting big lumps of stuff. Yeah, kinetic energy, bro. Yeah. But... Yeah, but, yeah, but then your argument... Was always already going to be. Cannon. Yeah, and not as much as firing cannons, though. I mean, we can give it a shot. Disperse more of it, then. 
Maybe. I don't like firing a gun in the warp, though. I don't like any of these ideas. I don't either. Trust me. I don't <laughs> either. These, these ideas are all awful. Yeah, but just sitting here and having a bunch of warp goo build up on us also sounds bad. Yeah, yeah, but we don't know that this would change that, though. I mean, what if it overloads the Geller field? Well, exactly. deal with that later. Deal with yeah. the problems as they come. No, I don't know about that well, one this either, This is though. a problem. Yeah, this There's is a problem. problem. It has come. Barbaretta, did any ideas, really? Barbaretta doesn't know. Uh, she's she. All she can do is tell you what she sees outside the ship, and that's yeah. the fact that you know, you're basically starting to dam up warp energy because you're a big okay. So of so moving stuff. so so the situation is we're damming up warp energy. No one on this ship has any knowledge what uh, on a way to disperse said energy or how well, to remove it. Hold something and got three degrees of success and doesn't know. So I'm going to go and yeah. know. Nobody knows. Barbara, yeah, and it. Do you have any idea what happens when somebody shoots a gun in the warp? Uh, she tells you it could be absolutely anything. I mean, it's the warp. It's completely unpredictable. Yeah. By, by like its it. definite, def you know, nature. Like, like, have you ever been on a ship where that's happened or heard of it happening? That's, or did you hear they died? <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Uh, I mean, she's heard that you know, in in incredibly rare situations, there has been ship the ship combat in the warp, but uh, so I mean, I, I guess guns would work. She tells you, but but like, have you ever heard stories of anybody fired a gun in the warp and then the ship blew up because it was a really bad idea? <laughs> just like the ship just then they wouldn't survive. Then you wouldn't hear the story. No. Yeah, but the, she, she, rumor she, hasn't, that. she hasn't heard a rumor about that. No. Have you heard any facts about that? <laughs> no. We could. Tr I mean, if we fired. No, but the basically here. Port macro batteries and so, the aft starboard macro batteries. If we could induce a spin. I don't want to maybe. We, I don't. <laughs> You really want to spin in the warp, though? Yeah, I don't know. No, about like spinning the warp. Spin the energy okay, off. okay, so so yeah, basically, exactly. once once again, no one knows. We're purely speculating. I am not going to do anything based on speculation because we don't actually have to do anything Your yet. The whole command's based on speculation. No, my whole command is based on fellowship and being fucking charming. <laughs> it's true. Right. Well, you, think you, could, you think you could charm the warp into going away? Probably, I... but I'm not going outside. Why don't you go on the comms then and tell them to negotiate no, with I... the demons? No, I think that's bad. No, but it's, it just seems like we can't do shit, so let's not do anything no, drastic. I I'm weary, but... Uh, I like the spinning if, idea. If, if, if you have an idea that's less risky or more likely to succeed based on the current knowledge we have, then feel free to present it, but so far you haven't. Sitting there saying you don't like the situation doesn't help us resolve the situation. I've presented several ideas. That don't work. That we don't, don't know they don't work. work. Yeah, but or then you've look you've look argued look against look your own ideas. <laughs> Wait, when did I do that? When you said shooting a gun. No, I I, I consider that a dip okay, for one okay. Mm. <laughs> you, I, like, I consider you, those to be you say, let's when I'm shoot, talking about shoving stuff, stuff out the back, I'm talking about a lot of stuff. More than just a salvo of bullets would be. But a salvo of bullets is a huge amount of stuff, isn't it? Like, it's big yeah. hunks of steel bits, yeah, right? Yes, but we also should have, like, just wacko huge amounts of random stuff we don't need. Yeah, but, I'd, like... Is this the guy of cleaning your room? <laughs> <laughs> Also, I don't see how that would work because there's friction in the warp. So if we, if we somehow manage to push a whole bunch of shit outside of our airlocks, that thing would fucking stick to our ship anyway because it's the biggest fucking thing in the warp, gravity and stuff. And since there's friction, it's not going to go very far. So it'll just come back and hang out with the rest of the energy bits. Oh. The only other thing I can think of is. Shoving a whole lot of explosives out the back, blowing them up, and using it to propel herself forward. I, I don't like the idea of the explosion thing. No, it's not a great idea. What if we yeah. just, like, can we, like, wiggle the guns a little bit and use them to, like, 
Kind like, like a sail, sort of. Like a paddle off of a rowboat when you yeah. get algae and crap. Just yeah. It around to disperse it. That's <laughs> I, I don't know that we have enough guns and big enough guns to overcome well, that. We, we've got a big gun on top of the big gun on bottom. Right? the idea that has the least risks so far. It's not involving opening any doors. It's not involving firing something. I'm not saying we shouldn't try. I'm just saying I don't think it's going to do anything. I, well, it would. Pro I think having that with guns wiggle is probably our best option right now and if it doesn't do anything at all with no substantial notice to the girl looking into the warp i don't think throwing garbage out of an airlock is going to do anything more either i think we're mostly fucked on this one well, i think yeah. we're, we're just not going to do anything there's no point in discussing it because we don't have any ideas that we can reliably do and there's no reason to well, do we, anything well we, well we can wiggle a gun and give it a go yeah. sure well, go we wiggle the gun try to Okay, I, giant paddles and stick them in the end of the gun. I'm gonna. Uh, we, well, you gotta then you gotta get them into the gun. I'm wiggling. Well, that I mean, we, uh, I, I'm we wiggling things into the gun. Wiggle, wiggle the guns. guns. Okay. Wiggle the guns. Make, make a ballistic skill test to wiggle the guns. Are you fucking no. kidding me? No. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> he is pretty good at that. I'm What's his good. bonus to wiggle the gun and not shoot? Oh, Ethan, go wiggle the gun. Oh, that's a plus ten to that. <laughs> Who's Ethan? Well, wow. uh, the this crewman eight fails by nine. Nice. You are unable yeah. to wiggle. I wiggle the gun a little. Like, Amy, he I doesn't don't... wiggle it in a specific pattern. He just kind of randomly shakes just the stick. Moving the stick going, there's, ah. there's no noticeable difference. Huh. But the, he failed at wiggling the gun, so the gun wiggled. Is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, but, but... It wiggle in a productive way. Yeah, not in a productive way. Well. Well, you keep it up, and we'll see if anything happens. I know it involves opening the door, but what if we send the murder, murder servitors outside the ship to, well, like, what, to fight the war? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking that, but just like they said, you, they have to dissipate the energy. So would they them going on along the outside actually dissipate the energy and like build it up in them? And then we could like. I think it's a difference of scale. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's a massive scale difference there, yes. Okay. I guess we I just can... wait it out. Okay. I, I continue to wiggle the guns. <laughs> okay. Well, well, like, I'm going to get it with the right angle. You decide the best thing to do is just to wait this out and see what happens. Um, over the well, next week or, or whatever. Week, week and a half, uh, you, you get the warp engines repaired to a point that you figure that they'll probably safe to turn on and limp your way through the warp and out into real space. Um, you, you don't find anything else about any of your own crew, you know, that, that would have done anything to damage this, so. 30 minute discussion to accomplish. All right, we're going to stand around and wait for a week and a half. I wiggled the gun for a week and a half. He, he wiggled the gun. The gun has had no noticeable effect on the amount of you know warp energy building up outside the ship. Uh, Barbaretta keeps telling you that it's getting stronger and stronger, but there's really not much else you, you know, you've been figured out that you could do about it. Um, but there's there's basically just you know a, a, a huge amount of warp energy on one side of the ship completely built up. Yeah, which so, direction is it building up? Uh, it's building up from your uh, uh, port side. Okay. So, when we start... Warp is, is what we need next time. Hmm. What we need is to never have this happen ever again. But, yeah, you, your, your engineers tell you, Grunty, that they think... Uh, they tell Merrick they think it's, it's probably safe to turn on the the warp engine now. It'll, it'll probably work. Um, probably what percentage? They give it about 90% chance that it'll it'll work. It'll get you moving again at the very least. Security teams everywhere, please, when we do this. Could we just exit the warp instead of like moving through it? Uh, you could. You would have no idea where you were, though. Yeah. Yeah, that like that's... good. Let's get going. <laughs> Okay. So the question is, do we think that uh, pushing into the buildup or pulling away from it is a safer option? Pulling away, I would assume, but you're you're the tech guy. 
I'm the tech guy, not the warp guy. Yeah, we need to talk mm. to the navigator. What do you think, Barbarita? Barbaretta tells you, uh, you know, she thinks it's probably just to, to try to get away from it as quick as possible. Let's leave. Okay, Barbaretta. Okay. Uh, someone's got to give the command to turn the warp engines back on. and Security then... teams everywhere before we turn it on in case the yeah, shit. Se security teams around the warp engine. Once they're in place, we turn it on and we get the hell out of here. Okay. So, so right. just, you place your security teams. Uh, you give the command to turn on the warp engine, and no, with, nope, I leave no, some uh, chance to the Omnisaya first. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna put some salves on it. Some <laughs> yeah. Engines. And if I had actually like written any, this is where I would read them. I should actually do that. You I should. should sit down one day and write down some tech brief chance. You totally should. Uh, so just head by Bush. Just imagine, like, very <laughs> ominous Latin, pseudo-Latin chanting about computers. All right. All right. And then I push the on button. You push the on button. Uh, you can feel the ship shudder in the warp as the engines come back to life. <clears throat> uh, Literally, giant demon engines. <laughs> no, no, they, they seem to be working just fine. You know, they slowly, slowly power on, uh, and you feel the ship sort of lurch forward a bit. Um, so what are you, which way are you turning? You're turning into the stuff, you're turning away, you moving parallel to the warp energy. Which way do you want Barbaretta to go here? She seems to think we should turn away. Does uh, Holt have any suggestions on that? Mm-hmm. Let's see. It seems like, regardless, no, if, if, to do it better. if if I come up against energy, I'm usually like, let's not go into the energy. Uh, Holt thinks that Holt disagrees. Holt thinks it's probably better to go parallel to it and try to yeah. get past it instead of go downstream and try to outrun it. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm like, it could push us somewhere like that could get messy. Well, let's do what Holt says. He knows. All right. No. <coughs> Forward ho. Okay. All powers to the aft thrusters. I'm glad that this is now going to be Holt's fault instead of Barbaretta. <laughs> I like Barbaretta more. Aft warp manacles. <laughs> okay, well, Barbaretta uh, makes her navigation check here and tries to uh, power so the ship forward the through the warp. Captain, please. Uh, as... <laughs> Barbara, please. Well, it's too late for that. As, yeah, it's too yeah. She made her roll. As the ship starts to pull forward, uh, the the warp energy, as you're going parallel to it, uh, sort of surrounds the back of the ship, and you kind of you feel it lurch to a stop, and you know you're all thrown to the ground. Uh, you you basically you hear Barbaretta curse to the uh, to the emperor, fuck that guy. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's. Mm, oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, I was just say yeah, we have a problem saying. if our head navigator is a, a heretic. And she, she she takes off her headset and lets go over the controls, and she looks over at Kanor and says, "Captain, it's grabbed the ship." <sighs> Shoot the fucker! A uh, giant question mark has grabbed the ship. Oh, is it just a big question mark? To you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll, it should load in a moment. I, I mean, sure it's, it's not a, a tentacle. It's a yeah, yeah it's exactly. A, it's, it's a, a big uh, tentacle. It's a warp question mark. Giant the dot is a, is an eye. We don't know the what warp it looks sucks. like. We can't see into the warp. You don't. The warp uh, sucks. Barbaretta knows what it looks like. But basically, the massive amount of energy. Uh, around the ship has then been disturbed by your warp engines moving through it, it's and it's, tur it's turned into a warp monster, which has seized the ship. I see. Uh, oh, this yep, is there a fun it is. game, everyone. I is there is there a reason dragon. we're not shooting this thing? I, I don't know. Uh, we'll ask Vendigroth. He's the gun guy now. Well, oh, it we just go. happened. Well, I'm the small guns guy. I I don't. I, Whatever, shoot it. Okay. <laughs> no, gun right. guns. Well, first well, round, ship takes nine hull damage as this thing begins to crush the crush the hull. 
I'm you know giving, what? Man. I'm giving Vendegroth plus 10 to his shooting. I'm assisting it in aiming and calling him an idiot constantly. I, on the other hand, a positive reaffirmation telling him he should shoot the fucking thing. Okay, you can do a plus 20 ballistic test, baby. See what you can do. Shoot everything we got at it. Yeah. That's so that's is this, how it is works. this playing out as a starship combat? Yes, it is. Okay. Excellent. So you guys all get to go, and then what monster gets to go? Yep. Where do I roll for ballistic skill? That is not my best. Uh, combat and actions, uh, test versus characteristic. And then a lovely plus 20. Yeah, no, I, I actually, I guess I'm in here if I'm shouting at him. Yeah, you're in weapons control. Oh, there we go. What'd you say, plus 20? Yeah. Yay. There we go. Six degrees of success. All right, it doesn't have void shield, so those are hits. So go ahead and roll damage for your the ship's weapons. I have no idea what they are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it's, it's been some say. time. Okay. I mean, uh, if, I've never done it with the ship. If you click my... the Silk Waifu and then click uh, Manage My Weapons, you can see you have the two macro batteries. <coughs> um, I, I have no ownership of this token and thus are not allowed to use it. Of course not. Uh, <laughs> ownership. There, there. Okay, now you should have ownership as well. Now I can. Yep. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you have the uh, two macro batteries. One's uh, one can do up to three hits, the other up to four hits. Uh, I guess with... it's the keel shard because that's the one that can shoot towards the rear. Well, how big but, is this thing? Oh, no, right, this it's thing, all this over. Thing's, this thing's surrounding the ship. It's grabbing. Okay. Yeah, you're shooting all of the guns. Yeah, you're, you're basically shooting all of the guns right now. And how do I shoot? Sh the, how do I do that with on this? So here's the way that this works. You can always choose to either shoot your macro batteries separately or in one big salvo. Right now, there's no void shields or anything to worry so about. Salvo so, is yeah. Yeah, it's it's salvo. so he rolled his ballistic skill, which is six degrees of success, which is six hits. So that's you probably are doing four with the keel shard cannon and then two with the... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I don't see those when I click on anything. Oh. Uh, and you click the thing and then click manage my weapons? And the, either way, they're both 1d10 plus two damage. Yeah. Yeah. So roll six d ten plus. Uh, yeah, do do one d ten plus two, uh, six times, I guess. Yeah. That's a good That's... one. Yeah, but these are just one d tens, or okay. it's not. Yeah, we'll just yeah, add the plus two. Don't worry oh, about plus it. Two? Yeah. My bad. Never oh, mind. Yeah, you still rolled it amazingly well. It's plus except twelve. That except for one. that one. Yeah, except for that one. Okay, so now we add all these together. I so we got a job. We got a that's forty nine. It's forty nine, and right? It's, it's forty nine. <coughs> Didn't we crit uh, with the keel cannon since we got four hits with it? Yes, you would have crit. Uh, hell critting, yeah! Critting, critting a warp monster. Yeah, He's good. That, yeah, that's you can do that. Sure. Uh, go ahead and we hit it right in the crew compartment. <laughs> right, right. Um, That's the balls. I don't remember. <laughs> For crits, it's just one d five. It's not one d ten again. It's not damage. It's how you. It's extra people. horrible things that's happened because oh, you rolled oh, so well. It's critical. We that's in righteous fury. That's no, we just big cold. No. That's not. I mean, anything on the critical is a good thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You uh, just basically you blew a hole into it. Did loads of demons start falling out of it? Uh, no, no, that demons don't cool. fall out of it. Uh, it's mustard. Puppies. It's it's completely mustard. It's all mustard. <laughs> Mustard's falling out of it. Fuck. Fuck the Delicious. Lord. The outside of the ship is being completely covered in mustard right now. It could you... be worse. You could have been jammed. Yeah. I don't think we should sell the warp mustard to anybody, but maybe those cannibals would have liked it. 
Uh, okay. Uh, anyone else doing anything right now? Other we could probably sell it to the orcs. Well, I, I mean, I was I was shouting at Vendigroth, but oh, that's my free action. Yes. Yeah, but I I'm in weapons control, so I can't tell people to. Uh, well, we I mean, we still want to try and get out of here. So engines, I mean, and full pile, not pile full juice to engines, but maybe floor it a bit. No, no, I know. I think full juice. I think flank speed. I'm I'm gonna get us some additional movement. You're gonna whisper sweet nothings to the. I am. I don't know how engines work. No, you don't. No, you don't. Here, it, it's okay. I'll one of these days when I'm patching you up, I'll explain it a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to get hurt again. Oof. Oof. Flank speed. Yeah, so that is only one degree of success, which means an additional VU of movement. Okay. On top of whatever we choose to do, and I recommend we go forward as fast as possible. Away. We should go away. Yes. While it's grabbing us. Uh, I mean, maybe we'll pull the arms off. Or it'll pull the ship in two. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Let's just stay in the warp forever. It's, gonna, yeah. it's, gonna, it's going to Why make not? a strength test, basically. Uh, versus your movement as degrees of success to see if it can still hold on to you, pretty much. Yeah, like, let's go really fast and give it a go. We want we want to disengage from their boarding action. <laughs> okay, so are, are you just moving your max right now, then? And it's plus one? I, I thinking that's what we should do. Is, mm -hmm. is everyone in agreement? Yes. Sure. Does anyone else want to do their extended action before we end our turn? I don't think there's much else we can do, though. I could try and make the crew think this is good. Well, no, he already tried a tech. He already tried a, a thing. He tried to know what was happening, and he didn't. Oddly enough, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah. That. I mean, someone could try scrutiny or detection to scan it. Yeah, someone could do scrutiny or detection to scan it. Yeah, someone with sure. scrutiny. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. It's Don't really big. Scrutiny would fair. do it. All right, I'm seeing if the monster holds on to you or let's go. Yeah, it holds on. No, oh, yeah, wanna, uh, but we pull it with us. That's the important part. Yes, you do. And you also take another seven hull damage. Nice. Fuck. What's your hull at? Uh, your hull is at... Uh, you're down 16 from 20. So very little. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Your armor, though. Uh, what's your armor? Is armor like 12? You're 12? Yeah. Uh, okay. So you are down 4 from 20. So you're at 16. Do our shields mm -hmm. do nothing? No. Because no. it's literally holding on to you. <laughs> yeah, it's a big thing. Okay, so, so I guess Vendor's going to shoot it again. Yep. I'm going to keep calling him an idiot to help him out. You're not helping! <laughs> oh, no, I am. Uh, I'm also telling him to shoot the thing. Another beautiful but you're nice thing. about it. Um, yeah, if that's what you think, yes. <laughs> Listen, if you want me to be nasty about it, I can. Yeah, that ain't bad. Nine That's degrees it. of success. No. 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 He succeeded Nine. by if only. Oh, zero. Zero degrees of success. <laughs> you might... I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you might want to reroll that. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I do have a fade point. I'm going to use a fade point. <laughs> Frederick's just going... <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm He's helping. Back in my ear. Frederick He's helping. That's what distracted me and made me roll back. Is actually, in my actually anyone who's got a ballistic skill, I guess, could come and help and tell him to do good. Three degrees of success. Take it. There you go. All right, so that's three hits. If we do it all with the keel, that's uh, the shard cannon. That's another crit. Right. Yeah, we'll do that with the with the shard cannon, I guess. Then. All right. Roll three d ten plus two, or plus six. I guess three d ten plus six. Okay, so that's the dorsal Mars pattern macro cannons. Three times 1d10 plus 2. Wow, 3d10 plus 6. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then a 1d5, I guess. Oh, no. Yeah, for yeah. Uh, your crit, yeah. The crit. Nope, forgot the slash. Oh, the tension. What's it going to be? 
32. Oh, pretty really good. Nice. And then 1d5. These? That's better. Ooh. Well, that's another... Maybe that's weapons control? Who knows? Okay. Uh... I have to find the crit chart. Here it is. Okay, uh, and you've actually passed its hull integrity at this point, so you're Hooray. doing more damage. Oh, doesn't that add to the crit roll? Yes, that's exactly what it did. So that your three becomes ten, a hull breach. Holy shit! We put another hole in it. Yeah, except a worse Holy one. Holy moly! <laughs> the captain roll a D five. One. Okay. Uh, and then roll a d10. We all die. The component is... Sure, okay. I'm going to say you blew off one of the tentacles and your ship's free now. Yes! yes! Hey. Leg it! Alright, I got one on my kill count finally. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Hey. Mm -hmm. Ship combat doesn't count because it's dishonorable. Also, like you didn't kill it, you just removed an arm. I know. I ruined a tentacle. If if shooting from the ship counts, I'd have like seventeen thousand kills. If, <laughs> but it doesn't. It's All praise be to the Omnissiah. Get us the fuck out of here. Yeah, that guy I like. Let's okay. Go. So are are you? You're, are, are you guys trying to run away from this now, or are you trying to just blow it up the rest of the way? Uh, I, I think we're trying think to we're... get some uh, distance it's... between us. Yeah, I think yeah, we're let's, just let's, trying let's to get some... away. Let's move away. We, we and can keep shoot shooting it. from far, far away. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's actually 23 under. I forgot to include Frederick. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, three degrees. Three degrees of success. Which means... Is that an extra? I'm I'm checking. Three if we're flooring it? Do we get an extra I one? I want to say three? yes. That sounds right. So you guys are moving seven units away. Because your speed's five. Well, five plus three is eight. Oh, right. Eight. But other than that, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, you guys move eight units away from the warp monstrosity. Anyone else doing anything this turn? Um, well, can someone? Can we scan it? Yeah, yes, now that it's farther away, you yeah, can get this, more of it in the scanner. The scrutiny we, scanning guy. Yeah, maybe maybe Icarus should do that. Maybe he should finally do his friggin' job. Oh, he's good at it. No. He's not that good at it. He's not that good at it. Oh, look so at it. Some it's kind of warp thing. Away. Look at it getting <laughs> further away. Some kind of warp thing, boss. Don't look out the window at it, by the way. That's bad. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. You don't actually see it. You know, the unspeakable. Do we have there. windows? Uh, they, 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 we have an they observation. All, they're all, like, shut. They all get clamped yeah. shut. Yeah. Let, me put, let me put it this way. They're not planned windows. They're <laughs> holes in the ship. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, keep shooting it as we leave, please. Hmm? Doop, doop, doop. Hey, Valverde, are we there yet? <laughs> no. <sighs> Alright, shooting it again. Do, yeah, do we need to shoot it again some more as we leave? You could, it's up to you. We, we can, yes. only, shoot so one, we can only shoot it with one gun now, can't we? From far away. Yes. It's, it's behind us. Okay, well, so there's your hit. Still a hit. Two, no crit, but like 2d10 plus 4, I guess. Yep. Ooh, mama. 20. You blast off another tentacle. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's going to real, really suck when those like drift out of the oh, warp. Uh, we actually did uh, We did more damage to it when we blasted off the first tentacle because Vendigroth was using his weapon skill rather than ballistic skill. Ooh. Oh. Uh, oh, so we actually... look at that, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's two I knew I... more degrees just... of success. Nice. I'm, I'm telling him to shoot it, and he's pulled his knife out. <laughs> yeah, just stabbing the console. Going... <laughs> <laughs> that was effective, anyway. 
Yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. really fault them. It's, it worked. Thanks to my expert advice and the captain's inspirational speech. Well, it doesn't seem to have any way to chase you. It's just kind of drifting away in the warp as you're uh, making distance here. So you can either keep shooting at it as you get further away or just let it go. Uh, do we have an infinite Should... amount of supply of ammo? Not no. infinite, but... We have well, a lot of ammo. A lot? I don't... Yeah. Actually, no. The shard cannons do have infinite ammo. The shard cannons, yeah. as long as your engines hold out. Captain, yeah. do you care if I keep shooting at it? Shoot at it. Do we want to drain the engines of power from shooting uh, it? I'm Different engines, right? The the thing that I'm uh, worried about is if we ever come this way ever again. Ah! I, oh! oh no! 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 Oh, shoot it a lot because the unappreciated <laughs> deal is going the same way. And that's All plus 20. That's plus 20, so you get six degrees of success. I already put that in there. He already has that one. Oh, right. well. Well, no, I'm. I if we're far enough away, I can help shoot. I think. Help. I, I think I can do a bonus for shoot. I think this is probably your last shot at it without it turning around. Okay, yeah. Well, well without I you think... turning around. We're gonna go turn around. Have to okay. Turn no, around actually, that's not something past. I can do. No, nope. I hope really not turning around ever. Yeah, if Sigmund sucks. I never liked him anyway. Well, he's not on the ship anymore. He's on the... Yeah, he's on the other one. Fuck deal. him. They can, they can deal with this. All That's what we process. worry about. The, if they're coming the same path as we are, they're going to run into it. Well, we also got stuck for a while. Yeah. and they're That's slow, what I'm, like, uh, all sorts that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, like, they might have gone past us. They might have... They might see it on the way up. I mean... Yeah, well, it was actually... Yeah, they probably went past us because it exploded the second day in the warp, right? And it and seems... Then, Good job to look into the warp. So if he didn't see this thing coming and dies, it's his own fault. No, but I, I also, think also, I think they've already we're... passed us. I think they've already passed us. Also, even though we are on the same charted course, the warp is not exactly like linear yeah. like that. Mm, yeah, so they could be but going fucking who knows where. Yeah. But on the but... other hand, the warp. <laughs> you want me to turn around, Captain? I can. No, can we're le we're, we're no. We're no, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, we're fine. Be good. Okay, and we've leave we've done this for an hour, so we should say goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. Uh, goodbye, YouTube.